Today I'm going to introduce you to this little fella. Uh, it's called a Bluebot and it's an educational robot that has been designed specifically to teach basic programming concepts to young learners. So it's actually an ideal tool for foundation phase coding and robotics to introduce these concepts into the classroom. So I'm going to give you just a quick overview of the features and functionalities, starting with these buttons you see at the top. They're very simple. You have a forward button, backwards button, left and right button, go button, pause button, and then the clear button, which clears all the commands from the memory. So these allow the learner to do step-by-step -step programming. The blue bot can follow simple instructions and sequence, which the learner can then program in steps. And for each step, the blue bot moves forward about 15 centimeters, which is roughly equivalent to its length. It has a memory function in here. So you can see there's chips and um, various bits and pieces, and it can store up to 200 commands. So learners can actually experiment with longer sequences of instructions, um, which then become way more complex and will in some cases force the learner to think about debugging and solving problems if issues arise. The other nice thing about it is, I'm just going to turn it on quick, get the on switches at the bottom. Well, you can see lights shine up, it makes noises. And uh, these sounds and flashlights, they confirm each action that the blue bot takes. And it provides immediate feedback to the children about what the blue bot is doing. So I'm just going to put this down for a sec. I might actually turn it off, the lights are a bit bright. Okay, um, so there's a few things these blue bots can be used to teach. Um, the first one I've mentioned already is sequence and algorithm development. So the learner can plug in a series of steps and actually program directly into the blue bot to move forward, to turn, to um, move again, which helps with understanding instructions in sequence and that the order of instructions actually matter. Second thing I mentioned was debugging. So particularly for longer um, series of steps, when issues happen, the learners will need to debug them, basically work out what the problem is and where they went wrong and then correct them. Um, lastly, you can actually do more complex type of um, instruction with it where you can look at logical and computational thinking so concepts like loops and conditionals can actually be taught using these blue bots um, and then i just want to mention as well if you think about it you can actually use them for um, cross-curricular activities so for example if you were wanting to use them in a language class we could um, have the students tell a story using the blue bots movements for example um, perhaps also in the life skills class, we could look at maps and neighborhoods and, you know, your home neighborhood and have the learners create a map with landmarks from their home and have the blue bot then navigate around that. So a very useful uh, little device. And uh, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how you can use them directly to conduct certain activities from the foundation phase coding and robotics curriculum.